Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to derive the wave impedance ZZ for TM wave. So, in the previous video, I have explained you about the wave impedance ZZ for TE wave, where we have taken EZ is equal to 0. Just similar uh, method we will follow, but here we will consider HZ is equal to 0 as it is TM wave magnetic field. Okay, we know the definition of wave impedance. Definition of wave impedance as per the definition of wave impedance, uh, it is nothing but it is the ratio of electric field to the magnetic field in transverse direction. That means if you take electric field in x direction, magnetic field should be in y direction, Ex by Hy. Or if you take magnetic field in, in x direction, electric field should be in y direction, Ey by Hx or Hx by Ey, something like that with the different cases. So, we will consider the same wave impedance ZZ which is Ex by Hy, Ex by Hy. So, we know that again same process, we know that Ex is equal to minus gamma by H square dou Ez by dou X minus j omega mu by h square dou hz by dou y and hy is equal to minus gamma by h square dou hz by dou y minus j omega epsilon by h square dou ez by dou x from the definition of from the definition of tm wave what tm wave stands for transverse magnetic transverse magnetic that means the wave which is perpendicular to magnetic field that is existed nothing but ez is existed and hz is equal to simply zero so if you just replace this is 0 and non zero values in this minus gamma square h square dou ez by dou x and hy is equal to j omega mu minus by h square j omega mu by uh, j omega epsilon by h square dou ez by dou x ok uh, now for tm wave so for tm wave it is indicated by i told you already z tm z tm ex by hy ex by hy so what is ex minus gamma by h square minus gamma by h square dou ez by dou x divided by minus j omega epsilon by h square dou ez by dou x so that is equal to gamma by j omega sorry uh, gamma by j omega epsilon okay this is ztm We know gamma is equal to alpha plus j beta and assume, assume alpha is equal to 0, <laughs> then gamma is equal to j beta. Alpha is equal to 0 means gamma is equal to j beta. Subject, <coughs> excuse me, substitute that then ZTM is equal to J beta by J omega epsilon. J beta by J omega epsilon. JJ cancel what we have. So ZTM is equal to ZTM transverse magnetic field. ZTM is equal to beta by omega epsilon. Okay. So, we already know that 
we already know that beta is equal to omega square mu epsilon minus omega c square mu epsilon under root. See here, this equation we have considered from those two equations like h square is equal to gamma square plus omega square mu epsilon and h square equal to a square plus b square. Okay. I have done this expression already twice or thrice in the previous videos. I am not doing the same in again and again. Okay. If you want, you can uh, revisit the previous videos, go through that. Okay. The same equation I am using because that will again uh, leads to some time taking process. So if you simplify this, take omega square minus omega c square comma from this then this will be the value then beta is equal to square root of mu epsilon into square root of take omega also common so omega square 1 minus omega c by omega whole square then if you omega comes out and this one becomes minus 1, 1 minus omega, omega c by omega square. This is beta. Now substitute this value in this equation number 1. So substitute beta in equation number 1. Substitute beta in equation number 1. So ZTM is equal to beta by omega epsilon so that is omega square root of mu epsilon square root of 1 minus omega c by omega whole square divided by how much it was mu omega mu epsilon omega epsilon so omega omega cancel and now it is separate these two terms root mu into root epsilon and 1 minus omega c by omega whole square under root and in here in the denominator we have epsilon so root epsilon how many times it will cancel in this epsilon root epsilon times so root mu by root epsilon 1 minus omega c by omega whole square under root then it becomes totally it is square root of mu by epsilon into 1 minus you can write it c omega c is nothing but 2 pi fc and omega is nothing but 2 pi f so you can write it as omega fc by f whole square under root okay <coughs> what is this it is free space impedance okay and uh, we know that root mu by epsilon is equal to eta eta is nothing but what is eta it is nothing but free space impedance free space impedance or we have got this one mu by epsilon under root is equal to mu free space mu relative divided by epsilon free space epsilon relative that means a free space permeability into relative permeability divided by free space permittivity into relative permittivity relative values are one so if you substitute this value for so if you Substitute the standard values like 4 pi into 10 power minus 7 divided by this epsilon naught value is 8.25 into 10 power minus 12 under root. So if you simplify this, this value becomes 120 times pi. Okay. Or it is also equal to 377 ohms. We can call it as eta. 
free space impedance okay <coughs> so that value needs to be replaced here in ZTM so now ZTM becomes therefore ZTM becomes eta into square root of 1 minus FC by F whole square isn't it now in terms of wavelength you can write in terms of wavelengths so in terms of wavelengths is nothing but fc is equal to c by lambda c and f is equal to c by lambda not just if you substitute them this equation becomes eta into square root of 1 minus lambda not by lambda c whole square just those two values are reciprocal and c value becomes cancelled this is what the wave impedance per tm wave wave impedance per tm wave per lambda naught which is very less compared to lambda c lambda naught is very less compared to lambda c the denominator part is more compared to numerator that means this factor is very very less and you can just simply neglect this one minus this factor then ZTM is small compared to eta ZTM is small compared to eta so we can also say for TEM wave TEM wave the cutoff frequency is the cutoff frequency is 0. The cutoff frequency Fc is equal to 0. What about lambda c that is equal to infinity? So, if lambda c is equal to infinity, what happens? If lambda c equal to infinity, 1 minus infinity 0, 1 minus 0, 0, so it is simply equal to ZTM equal to eta. ZTM is equal to eta. This is for TEM wave. Okay. So, this is the definition and calculation of wave impedance for TEM wave. Thank you.